About a year ago, I had a job at GameStop because yeah, I'm a gamer. That's when I got this hoodie. It didn't come like this though, that'd be weird. It's also when I got this Master Chief. He's supposed to be on a Warthog right now, and I didn't download CS Source. It was a seasonal job though, so I was let go in early January. Aww. Then not even two weeks went by and I got into a terrible accident. Aww. I'm not really gonna get into it, but uh, let's just say that I was hit by a large vehicle. I lost my arm, broke my leg, got a brain injury, and the surgery for the brain injury gave me a receding hairline. It sucked! After the initial shock of <laughs> My arm's gone! I started thinking, wait, can I play video games? Is my favorite hobby gone forever? Tears of the Kingdom came out shortly after, and Link loses his arm in that game. <laughs> like, what? I was really looking forward to that game, but I couldn't play it. But I did have this Xbox. As of recording this, Xbox is the only console with an adaptive controller. One for the PS5 was just announced, though. You hear that, Nintendo? Get with the times. Link is technically disabled. Let him play on his Switch after he takes off his prosthetic arm that's actually just another dude's arm, and he's just a stub. Come on! Here's the Xbox Adaptive Controller. You got an A and B button, you got a D-pad, start and select. And what I did is that I plugged in all of these... These external buttons for my feet. Yeah. You can plug in joysticks, but with one arm, you can't control two joysticks at the same time. Unless... On the official website for the Xbox Adaptive Controller, there's something advertised called the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. It has one big joystick and then a little one at the top. Perfect. So I ordered it, and the top joystick didn't work. I tried everything, so I called Logitech customer support. Hey, so I plugged in my Logitech Extreme 3D Pro into my Xbox Adaptive Controller and- Did uh, you just say the Xbox Adaptive Controller? Yeah, the website said that- That joystick only works on Windows, you idiot. Okay, they weren't shitty about it, but they did say that this thing only works on Windows, so... What's going on? It's still on the website. Congratulations, Microsoft. I'm giving you a sarcastic clap right now. Pretend that I am. Congratulations for giving me hope and then taking it away. I had to return the thing and cry. But I did find something else. This guy, Akaki, Akaki, makes 3D printed controller add-ons to make them one-handed. And here's mine for Xbox. All the buttons can be pressed with my left hand and the right stick can be controlled with this little thing at the bottom. You can use my stub, or I can use my leg. It's a brilliantly made thing. I appreciate the craftsmanship a lot, but it's not very easy to use. Mostly because of the right stick. It feels very awkward to use, like you have a lack of control. It's hard to describe. You also can't assemble the thing with one hand, and it blocks the charging port. So every time that it's done charging, I need help from a two-handed fellow, which is annoying. Luckily, I had another option. The hospital that I stayed at recovering from my accident referred me to a university where, for final projects, freshman engineering students can make products for people with disabilities. Hell yeah! It's way too hot in this room. But I think the test that I gave them was way too hard. These guys were freshmen, and I told them to make me a product that could give me the ability to play FPS games on Xbox. So yeah, I suck. Here I got some gizmos, some gadgets, Maybe a doodad, we'll see. <laughs> now I'm not insulting these students in any way, don't get the wrong idea. I couldn't make any of this stuff, and I'm very, very grateful. That being said though, this shit sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this here, they called the Dorito controller. It's basically doing what the Logitech controller didn't. One joystick here, the other joystick here, some buttons here, some buttons that fell off there. <laughs> Much like a real Dorito though, it has very sharp edges. It's not ergonomic at all. I don't think that was part of the assignment though. Okay, what is going on here? Oh yeah, this is called the, it says this one doesn't have a name. I'll make up my own name. This one's called the nipple. <laughs> so basically what you gotta do is you, you strap it to your arm chair, and then this basically controls the right joystick on an Xbox controller. Yeah, it's not very comfortable but they did ask me if it would be comfortable and I said yes, so that's on me. So yeah, nipple. Uncomfortable nipple. It's my new band. Put up the, put up the first album art here. Wow, that's stupid. I'm not gonna put that in. So this is the last one and holy moly. <laughs> so it's basically like a one hand, it's a one handed controller that's supposed to be used with the nipple. So you got a joystick over here, some buttons right here, some buttons right here, some buttons right here. Ow! So yeah, these all work, 
Just not very well. Now at this point, I was like, it is so over. But I was looking around online one day and I saw a video of some guy MacGyvering a mouse and keyboard together. Then in the suggested videos, I saw something called the Azeron Cyborg, which is a one-handed keyboard for gaming. I was like, oh man, this would be perfect if it was also a mouse. So I went on Azeron's website to see if they had what I was looking for, and they did. Introducing the Azeron Cyro, a one-handed mouse and keyboard for gaming. It took about a month to be built and shipped from Latvia. You could use it as a mouse. This joystick controls WASD. You got some buttons that you can bind to anything. It works super, super well. My only complaints would be that a lot of the parts are 3D printed, so it's not very durable. I also recently started having problems with a scroll wheel. And I saw another video where this guy was having hardware issues, so it's not perfect. Also, if you're mostly a console gamer, you'll have to switch to PC for the most part. Ignoring all that though, this is the best way to play games one-handed. I've been playing Minecraft, I just beat Portal 2 for the billionth time, I just bought the Battle Pass in Fortnite so I can unlock Peter Griffin. Hello Peter, welcome to Fortnite. It's actually a godsend. It was a gift from Deves. That's God in Latvian. He was the god of the sky and the ruler of the gods in Baltic mythology. Yeah. He also created the Azeron Syro so Charlie could play Half-Life 2 after his arm got amputated. For many, many months, I was trying to find the answer to my gaming problem, and this is it. All of my occupational therapists didn't even know this thing existed. And I think I know why. Azeron doesn't advertise this as an accessibility thing. There's this picture on their website where it's like, look, you can game in one hand and have a drink in the other. And I know you want a big market, I get that. But let me be real. Azeron, I love you. I'm super, super thankful. But look, no gamer with two hands is gonna want this thing. It's a control setup that's super unusual and gamers don't like anything that's different. For people with the use of only one of their hands though, this is the best, this is where it's at. This is my first video, but uh, please subscribe, subscribe, yeah, yeah. I didn't post, maybe do the thing, yeah. Subscribe? <laughs>